Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Abby McCarthy, and I am the author of the Rec series, which is a motorcycle club series. And also, I have a book called Current that is a standalone, and I also have um, my last release is called Tainted by Crazy. And I wanted to read to you guys a passage from Tainted by Crazy. Um, Tainted by Crazy, just to kind of give you a little bit of background of, of where I'm going to jump you in at this is a story about um, a young woman. Well, she's not that young. She's 31, but to me that feels young because I'm 36, and 31 seems like it was forever ago. <laughs> and um, Mabel had a hard upbringing, and her grandma helped raise her, and she was away from home for a really long time. And after you know a series of bad relationships, she finally decides to return home, and she's faced with some demons. So the passage I'm going to read to you, she's talking to her Grams, who helped raise her. And um, Grams kind of is giving her the what for. But it, it's a powerful, impactful moment. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you haven't read Tina by Crazy yet, I hope that you do. And um, bear with me. I'm going to probably use a little bit of voices. And you'll be like, you suck as acting. Don't try to do that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> or just laugh at me. Like, point. Like, ah! You don't know what you're doing, Abby. You drop your, you're not an actor. You're a writer. Stop trying to do that. So, but I pretend I'm an actress <laughs> when I read. I don't know why. Okay. Sorry. Into character. Okay. It's in the past, Grams, but it was a shock to run into him. Then there are these dreams I've been having since I've been back. I shook my head trying to clear the thoughts. Anyways, the point is I flipped out. There's also Rise. Every time I turn around, he's there, and I know I can't go down that road. He's exact, exactly my type, which, if the last ten plus years are any indication of my judgment in men, it means he's trouble. Or I'm trouble. Either way, I have to get away. I'm sorry to do this, Grams, but do you think I can borrow a little bit of money just so I can get back on my feet again? I have some saved, and the house looks good. I've been working hard on fixing it up. I'm sure you'd have no problem getting it on the market. No. She straightened her back and began to walk away. I was shocked. Grimms never said no to helping me out. What do you mean, no? You won't help me? I was astonished, completely baffled. You'd rather hang out poolside with your friends and go golfing than help me? I knew I wasn't acting my age, but seriously, since I'd been back, it seemed that all Grimms did was hang out with her friends, and now she was turning her back on me. I looked at her incredulously. I mean exactly what I said. No. It's time you stop running. It's time for you to be home. I know it's hard for you to be here. I know it hurts, baby, but I can't give you money to take off again. Your problems won't go away with a change in location. I know everything with your mama damaged you. I know it wasn't fair to you, but sweetie, life ain't always fair. You're 31. It's time to let go of the past. You think you know how it felt? And that I can just get over it? You don't know a thing about what it was like to be me growing up the way I did. You don't know what it was like to hope above all hope. That each time I saw her, it would be different? That this time she'd get better? All I wanted was some type of normalcy, but even on good days, it wasn't quite right. And I get it. As an adult boy, do I get it? I know that there is no such thing as normal, but maybe once I would have loved to have a mama who cared if I came home late, or a mama who cared if I was hanging out with the wrong crowd. It shaped my entire life. I'm not... I'm just not sure if you could ever understand the amount of lasting damage it does when your mama is a druggie and a mental patient. You honestly think I don't understand? I understand, Mabel, how it is, because my daughter, who I raised, was a drug addict and sick. You don't have to tell me. Imagine wondering if it was something you did or didn't do, and you love that person beyond all explainable measure. Yet they're sick. No matter how many times I had her hospitalized, it was always the same. Besides having the guilt that my daughter was sick, I also had the burden of knowing that she put her daughter, what she put her daughter through. You don't think at some point I had to learn that I could take on that guilt anymore? Because you're right, it shapes your life. It's a dark tar that coats every part of it. It hangs out in the back recesses of your mind. That I love someone, raised someone, taught them everything they knew, and they couldn't stop getting high. I know you went through hell, but don't you sit and judge me and decide that I should still be living in it with you. I get to have as much fun for as long as I have left. I tried so hard to make it as good for you as I could. I get it. I wasn't her, and I'm sorry. You still hurt. But here's what you need to know. She doesn't define you. You're a grown woman. You get to decide what defines you. You get to live for now and stop living with her ghost. The same way your mama had a choice to stop getting high, you have a choice to stop letting her fate control your future. It is up to you, Maple. If you want to be happy, then let yourself be happy.
But I have to tell you, your happiness is not going to happen if you keep living in the past. Her words floored me. Is that what she thought? That I couldn't let go? Didn't she understand I would if I could? For the umpteenth time in the last 24 hours, my chest felt tight and the tears threatened to spill. I thought I'd done all right despite my lousy choices in men. I worked. I stopped partying like I did. What more did she want from me? It's not that easy, Grams. I'm here and all of those demons are staring me in the face. I went mad last night. I attacked him. How could I make a decision to put it behind me when being here is constantly staring me in the face? Oh, Maple, what is it you think you've been doing all these years away from here? You think you're somehow now being faced with demons? Dear, all you've been doing for the last 13 years is running from your problems. And look where that's gotten you. It's time. Time for what, Gramps? Time you stop running. Your problems might seem like they're staring you in the face, but the reality is they've been at you. They've been at your back chasing you for so long, you just finally turned around to see them. All right. And, we'll, and then Gramps exits the room and bam. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope if you, um, I'd love for you guys to read Tainted by Crazy. Um, the whole book is like a very highly impactful emotional read. And, um, you know, it's inspired by true events for me. So a lot of that actually was like my feelings with some things that I've gone through personally, where I was like, um, and things I've had to overcome and learn myself. So enjoy.